6 weather forecast. Good morning. It's going to be yet another warm and humid day here in the coastal bend. Of course, this is a result, though, of the moisture that we're starting to see accumulate here in our area. And that's a result also from the uh, cold front that's going to continue to make its way uh, further through central Texas, eventually meeting us, reaching us, I should say, here in south Texas, giving up that much needed rain that we're looking forward to as well. But let's go ahead and go over our current conditions that we're looking at right now all across our area here in Corpus Christi. Currently, we're sitting at 77 degrees, 74 in Beeville, 84 currently in uh, Port A, and 70. Uh, nine degrees there in Rockport. But as we look at our visibility here, it's looking pretty good. So folks who may be making their drives out there, heading out to work, or just starting on any early errands you may have for this morning, uh, visibility is a good sign. So you can see pretty well as a result of no fog in our area here. But as I said, we are dealing with a little bit more muggy conditions. And of course, we'll see that more represented when, by the time we get into the afternoon hours for today. But currently, there's a look at our feel, feel like temperatures right now. Corpus Christi, we're currently sitting at 79 degrees for our feel like temperature. Uh, feel like temperature in uh, NAS Corpus Christi currently sitting at 90 degrees there and 94 over in Port A. So we're going to continue to see those muggier conditions as a result of this cold front that I mentioned that's going to continue to push through our area here. And currently, for now, it is mostly in central Texas, but eventually it will weaken and make its way further south, giving us most of those rain showers that we're expecting by the end of this week and heading into the weekend. But even though these showers are current, or should I say this cold front is currently in central Texas, we are starting to see that mo moisture from it reach us down here in south Texas, giving us a couple stray showers that we may see as we go throughout the morning hours and maybe part of the afternoon hours as well. But not everyone will see them. They're just stray showers, just remnants of what we're going to eventually see as the next days go ahead head here. Uh, our rain chances will increase by the time we get into Thursday and definitely as by the time we get into Friday as well into the weekend here. We could possibly see some uh, some strong showers as well as some thunderstorms as well associated with these uh, showers that we're expecting to see as a result of that cold front. And in terms of how much rain we're expecting in terms of uh, rainfall that we're going to see as a result of these showers moving through our area, um, it's not going to be too much. So it's not going to be a rush washout by any sense of the imagination here, but it's a decent amount of rainfall. We're going to see uh, parts in some areas could see a quarter of an inch coming in as a result of these showers and thunderstorms making their way through the coastal bend. But it looks like mostly of our coastal communities could post possibly see up to an inch of rain making its way through uh, the coastal bend as a result of these showers. So of course, we do know we are dealing with somewhat drought conditions as we go throughout uh, our uh, later of this September month here. But every drop of rain that we get here in the coastal bend is still going to be a help in uh, helping us get out of those drought like conditions that we're dealing with. So yet again for today we are dealing with temperatures in the upper 90s there, but those temperatures will begin to decrease into the mid 90s as that cold front brings us those uh, rain showers expected into the weekend.